Rara Sudaniti, verse 24. In Rara Sudaniti, all the best verses are in the first 50 verses and the last 50 verses. There's 272 verses in Rara Sudaniti, but the first 50 have all the most rasic ones with Mandri Bhav in it, and just best ones. Advaita Das told me this because he memorized the whole book. And the last 50. They're all great verses, but. Prabhupada Saraswati was previously uh, at Waitin, Kaivalyavadi. He lived in Benares, and his name was Prakashananda Saraswati. So many times you can see his signatures there in the Sanskrit, because he, he talks about Jyoti. Like he, sometimes one verse in Rara Sunniti, he says, Rara Rani is seven Jyotis, the, the light, light of her eyes, the light of her smile, the light of her face. Many, many verses. This is what a waiter was explained to me. Because in the, uh, maybe I won't get into that controversy, who wrote it, but there were, when Adana Gopal Goswami came to Vrindavan in 1950, he gave classes on this Vilakusamanji, and he gave these different purports that Anantadas is quoting here, because somebody took notes on it, and he, he got the translation of those notes. The notes were written in Malaya, Malayam or. Tamil, Tamil Nadu, what's it called? Malaya. Malaya, whatever. That language. And, and Nadalas Pandit doesn't know that, so Madrasi Krishna was translated into Hindi, I mean Bengali, and then he took notes on it and used it for his classes in this book. So during that class, someone asked a question to Ananda Gopal Goswami. Who wrote, who wrote Radha Sudhaniti? Because in Vrindavan, most everyone in Vrindavan, the, there are follower, many followers of Radhavalabhis, the beautiful deity of Radhavalabha. So they say Hidhari Vamsh, Hidhari Vamsh, they, they say in the biography of Hidhari Vamsh, Hidhari Vamsh wrote the Radha Sudhaniti when he was six years old. This <laughs> is biography. Not bad. <laughs> But we see that the, the language, but there's so many arguments. So, we won't get into the arguments, there are arguments. So we'll just make a nice point in Nanda Gopal Goswami. It's so nice. He said, so who wrote it? You know, you go to your, you go to your people, say Prabhupada and the Saraswati, but we Brijvasi, there's so many Brijvasi, they don't know who's, they don't know Prabhupada and Nanda. They know Hidhari Vamsh, and the verses are written on the wall, on tiles on the wall, in, in uh, Sevakunj, on the walls. Nidibana, I think Sevakun. Sevakun, I haven't been there in 20 years. <laughs> I live in Vrindavan, I've never been there. I, I, I go to Govardhan, Varsana, Nandagam, Radhakun, Yava. I did that chat, I lived there for 15 years. I did all that stuff so many times. Now I just, now I wander this far of the brudge. Nandagam, Yava, Govardhan, Varsana. So what did the answer? Yeah, that's well, that's the point. What is the answer? <laughs> Thanks for getting us back on course. So he said, he said, if you're walking on a, on a footpath in a hot summer day and you come across a mango tree, and there's and it's a mango seeds and mangoes are ripe and you see a big yellow reddish mango, and you climb up in the tree, you get that mango. And you, then you wash it and you offer it to Krishna, whatever. Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu. And then you eat that mango, and then you, you don't, you don't care. You don't, know, you don't ask a question. Who wrote that? Who wrote? The, you know, who planted? Who planted the tree? You know, what kind of seed was? What kind of? What's the name of this mango? Is it Alfonso? Is it Chosa? Is this that? There's 20 kinds of mangoes. You don't care. You just, you're relishing the sweetness of the mango. You're relishing the experience and taste of it. So the same way, I don't, I don't know who wrote it, I'm busy relishing the sweetness. Everybody claps and like, fantastic answer. The way to Vamsacharya, Nandagopal Goswami, Vada Ki. So this is, this is the thing. So that's verse 24 about this Krishna peeping Tom, <laughs> peeping Krishna. <laughs> Blessed are the maid servants who render such sublime service. I think I think that's the end of Lila. Now that's the Lila of the verse. 
that the, the, the verse says, when will this maid servant wash your little feet, brush your teeth, and rub oil on you and massage you? And the first word says Narayan oil. So now there's some touch us some points in the purport and the tika which we'll discuss how do how does a devotee get spiritual visions how do we get such visions of Leela and experience of Leela it depends on our intensity or our devotional yearning our utkantita 